Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are finally getting this ambush out of the way. Uh, sorry for the delay, everyone. I just had like a couple days of just the worst sinus headaches. I've never had anything like it. So uh, even even like three days later, I am shattered. It is exhausting. I don't know if you guys have ever suffered from sinus headaches or migraines or anything, but it is really tiring being in that much pain for like two straight days. It is it is no fun. I don't recommend it. Um, I give it zero out of ten. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we're finally back. So we're going to do some fighting. Uh, we're going to fight the puppets of misrule. I'm not keen on this. I think we might be screwed. Um, just because of the nature of this ridiculous ambush mechanic. Uh, there's no defense against it. Once again, we are in encamp stance. Doesn't make any difference. It's ridiculous. Like it just They just get the ambush. It's it's like encamp stance doesn't do anything to, to prevent it whatsoever. Even though encamp stance does have like a, like a plus 70% chance to avoid an ambush or something. Um, and yeah, I, as far as I'm aware, it makes no difference at all. It's a guaranteed ambush, which I think kind of sucks. I don't think it should be a guaranteed ambush. I mean, I guess thematically, in a way, it sort of makes sense, because, you know, you teleport in from nowhere, so how do you prepare for that, right? But if you're encamped, then, like, you are prepared. That's kind of the point. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't like the mechanic. I don't like being the victim of it. But we've been through this. Let's let's see how we do. Hopefully Peter will be fine. Alright, Peter. Seriously? Already hitting up the spells? Game hasn't even started. And of course it's on my best units. Oh god, that sucks. Alright, so let's go with... Uh, god, I have no idea, you know. Something like that might work. Alright, I'm going to put the Cossiles out in front. And, uh, I guess just sort of... I don't know, maybe I should... Go a bit wibbly all over the place. Oh, and everyone I want to be in guard mode. And Peter is going to try and block those chariots. So we can't retreat. Once again, these battles don't offer a retreat uh, spot like ambushes are supposed to. And Swords of Chaos are going straight for our ranged units, which is very frustrating. Alright, start blasting, please. Alright, everyone... Start getting rid of those Marauder Horsemen in a hurry. They're going to be a pain, aren't they? Sure are. Alright, let's get that Sorcerer. Try and deal with them. Oh, they're holding out. Uh, ah, Drex. Let's try and get them out. Don't like that the Streltsy are sort of stuck in here. Alright, let's hit all them. Okay, don't like that they're getting shot at. We need to deal with them in a hurry. Big old hurry. Uh, yeah, you can get rid of them pretty quick. Alright, I guess you can all shoot them now. Oh, don't like the Iron Hell Gunners getting killed. And this is a mess. Ooh. Oh, Manticore's after us too, huh? Alright, we're doing quite well against the Summoners of Rage, though. Alright, see if we can't get the Summoners of Rage... Uh, what are you doing? I told you to shoot them. Really? And now, okay. What the hell? I told you to shoot them. That's so weird. Well, they're nearly dead, so that's something. Alright, he's nearly dead. Chaos spawn next. Okay, that stings a bit. Don't know quite what you're doing. Are you shooting? No, you're not. Okay, can you shoot Chaos spawn, maybe? Alright, Chaospawn nearly dead. Perfect. Okay, they are suffering. That's good news. There are going to be reinforcements coming. Yep, they're coming alright. Okay, keep trying to handle them, I suppose. Um. 
Okay. Yeah, this isn't going terribly. It's not going terribly. Alright, kill those guys. Just They'll die in a hurry. Oh, actually, you can probably get them. Those armored Cossars can run in there too. Gonna hit all of them. Oh. Ah, uh, gonna get out of the way. Maybe. Maybe we will. Nice. Alright, keep shooting those Chaos Warriors, please. Uh, those Cossars are losing. Not those Cossars, those, uh, 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 not orders. Oops. Alright, looks like we are holding here. God, there's a lot going on over this way. Peter's struggling, obviously. He's, uh, he's not in the best spot here. But it looks like everything else is starting to break. Which means that our gun line is now in a really good position. And that is great news. Alright, let's hit those Chaos Knights. Alright, start trying to hit them. Ooh, it's going to sting. Oh, come on, Peter. Keep everyone in the fight. Alright, try and get rid of them. You lot, shoot those... Uh, yeah, shoot those Forsaken, actually. I think that's probably a good shout. I think that's probably a good call. Alright, those Marauders are having a terrible time. Good. God, I wish we had some Spellcasters. I really do. Okay, let's get you guys lined up over here. Let's get you guys closer in. Start shooting those Summoners of Rage, please. They're having a great time. Uh, Peter might get killed here. I don't see how we can really get him out of this. Oh, so those Screamers of Siege need to go. Uh, there's Chaos Knights. I don't really like them stood in there. I'm not sure this is necessarily the best tactic against them. But it will have to do... All right, slow everybody down. I really wish we had some spells. That would be great right about now. All right, if we can just start blasting this area, we are going to be laughing seriously. All right, it seems like we're doing some good damage. All right, let's get you up and around. Archers, just kill him, please. Maybe go for those chaos trolls instead. Iron Hail Gunners, shoot into there, please. Oh my god. Come on, man. You can you can hold out. Alright, go for those Chaos Chariots, if you would. Oh, you're out of ammo. You're going to get shot a bit. That's fine. Oh, Iron Hail Gunners have got caught out. That sucks. Kind of need them. I kind of need them. Okay, you guys are doing great. Ish. You guys are doing great ish. We have to pull you back a bit. Alright, they're shattered. Perfect. And Peter died. Poor old Peter. But we're still getting big damage into here. So they're getting big damage. Alright, try and wipe them out. You shoot whoever. Any of these guys would be. Great. Okay, I think you need to run into here, actually. Try and keep them a bit busy, if you would. You all, you all good? Okay, he can't shoot right now, which sucks. Really? Come on. Come on now. Alright, get rid of those trolls. And we're definitely making them pay for this, you know? Oh my god, just line up and shoot, okay? Shoot anything. Okay, looks like everybody is shooting. Are you shooting? You're apparently shooting. Oh, you need to shoot them. This is a problem. And you're both out of ammo. Oh, no. Yeah, those stealths are having trouble. But it does look like we have dealt with them. Very sad Peter died. Alright, try and kill him if you would. Those Iron Hell Gunners, not actually a lot of kills. Well, 24,000 damage on them. 18,000 for them. Yeah, our boys are doing alright. I have you done. 30,000 damage. Nice. Alright, I really want you guys to shoot into these marauders. Alright, shoot into them. Alright, 
Nice. Looks like that's a win. Looks like that's a win. That is insane. Well, we made it. Very sad Peter died. But uh, he is immortal. So he will be back. He will be back. And he did just wipe out two armies. In an ambush. Which is pretty impressive. Pretty damn impressive. Well played, boys. Well played. Very nice. Yeah, that'll do. You guys should probably just um, stay back and let the guns do their thing. I yeah, almost 30,000 damage for them. Yeah, those Iron Hail Gunners didn't really get much of a chance to do much, but I mean, they seem to do okay. They seem to help. Alright, let's call that a day. Pyrrhic victory. It was certainly Pyrrhic. I'm surprised it didn't give us the heroic victory, seeing as how we were, like, you know, ambushed and they had two full stacks. Really thought that'd be a heroic victory, but sure, I'll take it. Okay, so yeah, we lost a few folks. Like, nothing major, though, honestly. Nothing like what they lost. So, I'll take it. I'm gonna go with replenishment, so what we do have left can continue. Okay, now who's gonna take over? We don't really have... Oh, I suppose we have some people that are a little bit leveled up. Um, Oleg Kapravlov, I think we hired at some point. I think he may have been guarding our initial settlement, right? In that sort of early... Um, that sort of early stage, possibly? So I'll have him take over. So yeah, Peter was just wounded, he will be back. Erdengrad got a plague, we've had some places destroyed, it's fine. Uh, let's have a look. Heroic resilience for you, sounds like it'd be important, but I think it's probably best we try and get firing no drills uh, sorted out. No and that guy is basically going to be completely fine again immediately. God, that is frustrating. So yeah, we need to back off and get some more replenishment. God, that is insane replenishment that they've got. But I don't think they can teleport on top of me for a while again. I don't think. I have to assume. Alright, so let's move back again. And let's get some more troops. We're going to need some more armored cossars. And in fact, I'm going to combine these guys. Because I want more armored units, I think. Or maybe a couple more stealthy. Because they did a great job in that last battle. Because they were doing pretty damn well in melee against some of the more elite things. Having a backline unit that if it gets caught out by armoured knights can just swing an axe and kill a bunch of knights. Um, that's pretty wonderful. Honestly, that is pretty wonderful. I'm a big fan of that. And 46 melee defense is no joke. 70 armor is a little bit low, but still much better than the, uh, the normal cross house. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Hopefully... Hopefully they'll be able to build this stuff up quickly. Um, I'm a little bit concerned that they won't. But we'll see. You know, they might get jumped. Because what's annoying, all this guy has to do is reach us. Um, I'm not sure if he can, if he's outside of March stance. Oh, it is actually showing. It's there. So he can reach us. So recruiting now is sort of pointless. I should probably just run all the way back to Winterpire or something. Oh, that's frustrating. If I was in a different stance, I'd suffer attrition, wouldn't I? Sure would. And it won't let me go back into encamp stance. Oh my god, I hate this game sometimes. That is so frustrating. We were in encamp stance. There's no reason why we can't go back into that. Ah, oh. That is so frustrating. This game really annoys me sometimes. Alright, just run. Hopefully they can't reach you. I mean, if they can, you're dead. It's fine. Um, whatever. We dealt with the ambushes. Good enough. Oh, I hate that ambush mechanic. I'm glad we won that battle, though. But, um, it's not really a win. But then I guess that's what Pyrrhic victory means, isn't it? Uh, alright, let's loot and by. And we have to build a bunch of stuff here. So let's go with... 
a better garrison, we'll build the thing to stop invasions from showing up, we'll get some money out of it, and uh, also we'll get a ice training field so we can work on getting higher frost maiden capacity. Cool. And someone got a war horse, lovely. Okay, more ice court stuff, uh, let's go with research, stealing, why the hell not. Uh, bottom one is always Tempest, done. Alright, more folks coming. Let's, let's get nice stuck in here, yeah? So hopefully between these two, hopefully between these two, uh, they can deal with this. I'm enjoying the fact they're not suffering any attrition here. Just Chaos Corruption is basically non-existent here now, which is surprising. It's because we've taken most of the territory here. Sweet. Uh, so this is going to be a very tough fight for lots of Chosen, but it doesn't look like they've built the garrison building. So really it's just that guy and, uh, and these Chosen. So I think if we besiege it with this guy, we can attack whenever we like, because we've got little Grom. I'll have to see what that guy does. That guy might join as well. But uh, Castalton's okay. nearby and has been having a whale of a time. Though, honestly, auto-resolving that, we suffered insane losses. I'm glad we have very good replenishment here. Okay, what should we get for you, buddy? Uh, enduring Devotion. What's that do again? Extra melee defense for nearby folks. I do like that. So I think we're going to go for that one. Let's give him tenacity. Moves and for this. Kuba, let's get Enduring Devotion for you. And, I mean, Magical Reserve sounds great. And some more scouting, I guess. Cool. Now what do the Asmans want? Uh, oh my god, I can have another one. They just keep coming. Oh, and he's got a, uh, a thing. Uh, foot, sure. Uh, alright, 2.3k over there. Isn't too bad. Oh no, we have 21 out of 20. I was thinking we had another one we could deploy. We don't. Not yet. It's because they actually took... Someone took a territory from us. Um, <gasps> we can actually get something from Global. We can get something that isn't Cossars. Do we want anything that isn't Cossars? Good question. Need some armor piercing. We'll get two Strelzy. In fact... I have no patience for there we go. Our front line is going to be Strelzy. It's probably better the other way around, actually. Have the weak Cossars in the front, just so the Streltsy can shoot more. Uh, okay, we do have the anti-army spawning building, so I guess we can just go with money. Because, you know, we, we don't have much money. We're only getting 30k per turn, and what are we supposed to do with that? Get a thousand Cossars? A thousand units of Cossars every turn? Nah. Nah, we need, we need to get at least 2,000 a turn, or else it's pointless. Um, right. More buildings. So many buildings. Okay, cool. Now let's do some conquering. This is mine now. Don't know what they're doing. I'll probably have to chase them down. Okay, good. Uh, so again, fairly big damage on... Just a handful of units. It's very odd. Some things just seem immune to auto resolve, and some just go, "Oh yeah, okay, I get it. We're gonna we're gonna auto resolve. I'll just I'll just stab myself in the chest." Sounds good. And you can get Infernius. Nice. Uh, so you're gonna have to sit tight for now. Actually, quite a big army here. So the the Chaos Warriors are great weapons here. Maybe assume that that's an Allied outpost has been built here. Which is pretty cool. So we are going to suffer a little bit of attrition while we sit here. You know, that's pretty normal. Uh, right, now you... I guess you can go grab that one. Nikari's nearby, so we can start chasing him down. It looks like we can reach him this turn. So Boris is about to kill Nikari, which is nice to see. Uh, okay, we don't have one of those buildings. I couldn't quite squeak it in before. We got to this battle, but that's fine. Okay, now I think we have uh, enough folks for that many Ataman, right? Sure do. And you've also got something for me. Uh, Pioneer! Extra research rate sounds lovely. And Liliania Ropsman has the extra campaign movement range. Nice. 
and we defeated Nikari, so faction-wide plus 7% character experience gain, and our entire army just got an extra 6% speed. We have speed 80 bears. That is terrifying. That's bears that can catch a lot of light cavalry. Well, okay, not a lot of light cavalry, but some light cavalry, I believe, can be caught by that. So that's very nice. Oh, and of course, you could never spend another skill point. My bad. My bad. Uh, Blood Mountain we can upgrade. And yeah, let's get the Invasion Stoppers. So there's still that. We don't have to really worry about um, any of the um, portals. Because they will close on their own soon. So we may as well let them do that. My god, we have almost wiped out Nakari now. So we've got one under siege. And that just leaves three settlements left. That... Like, this faction fell so quickly once we actually invaded. But then I guess we did invade with four armies from two different directions. So, you know, there is that. <laughs> there is that. Uh, help it. Yeah, let's level you up. Oh, you don't have the thing. What is good? All right, I'm going to get rid of that and we'll build the invasion stopper. Just in case we get portals opening by help it. We'll probably be done, though. We'll probably have finished this campaign before they show up. Because, let's see, objectives, victory conditions, all we have to do is get to the Oracles of Tsinch. And the uh, Seducers of Slanesh, that's it. And so that's their capital. And they have nothing else, I don't think. I think that's their only settlement left. So actually, it's all up to uh, Vienna Ungol, just to run over here and get rid of Dragon's Death. And that's that faction dealt with. That's awesome. We did have another army, right? Oh, he's right there. I don't know why, I couldn't see his banner properly. Um, so are we going to go fight Snake Gate? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, and you can take Shang Yang now, right? Yeah, alright. It's ours. Done. Okay, let's build a garrison, build some spices. Got extra research rate. Yeah, we got that earlier. Uh, so we have this. Uh, a lot of cannons over here, and a uh, green guardian. Fun. Centuries of silent sentry duty at the edge of the Warpstone Desert, broken by a stunning display of choreographed violence. The foe will stand little chance against the enchanted behemoth towering above them. That's fun. Uh, okay, shall we go attack this guy? Yes. Yes, we shall. Alright, come here, you. Hooray, he wants to fight. Uh, we will lose everything, though. That's disappointing, because I'm also thinking, how the hell are we going to fight this uh, with all the cannons without losing a huge amount of troops anyway? So I guess I'll just auto-resolve. Good. And now... I mean, I can just get more Cossars. That'll do. We'll get something a bit more special um, later. Just want to keep that momentum going. Okay, let's get... Uh... Ooh, I don't know, actually. Not sure what we need. Essence protection. This is mine. Why not, eh? Why not? Uh, so do I want to hand these over to our boy? Or do I want to hold on to them for now? I definitely want to hand them over before the end of the campaign, you know? I'll keep holding them for now. Uh, Zarina Ketrin has nothing to do. Absolutely nothing to do. Everything is already getting slaughtered. Wow, Salsamund actually got taken by Kazador. For the wisdom of Valea. Wow, he beat us to it. He beat us to it. Alright, let's get you guys over there. Okay, more, more toys. So hang on. Does that mean Festus has no settlements left? Uh, yep, zero settlements. It's just his army left, so he'll be he'll be done this turn. Uh, still four for them. Static legions over here, still going. But we pretty much wiped out everybody. Oh, we need to go deal with that, or do we? Are you going to deal with that? Go, go deal with that. Good. Now let's take Marienburg. My god. Oh, oh, there's a guy there. I'm glad we got sort of stopped there. Oh, maybe not. Uh, 
Okay, someone's a seasoned campaigner. Good. Now uh, let's have a look here. Let's get you Frost Shield. Good. So Marienburg, we can level that up a bit. And you can't get anything. You are already not max level. Well, you are max level, but you're maxed out on uh, uh, skill point slots, I guess. Okay, we can get that built. More and more buildings. Okay, let's upgrade that, upgrade that, and I guess build a farm. Oh, we could build a garrison. Let's build a garrison. I'm building them everywhere, even though it's still, um, well, I say it's still, there's no real point anymore. There's really no point to keep doing that. I'm going to build that because it's expensive, but it means I can consider my turn ended. Uh, let's go for a thing. Why not? We're on assigned skill points. You're, you're probably fine, aren't you, mate? Yeah, just do your own thing. And Casimir can also do his own thing. Yeah, that's fine. And you, you do. Oh, actually, don't do your own thing. You'll end up spending this stupidly. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on him for now. We get this, what, rank 20? So it'll be a while. Uh, that's fine. It's just one guy. Building upgrades available. Oh, actually a significant one. I will do that one. Now we're cool latter day. Income from all buildings sounds wonderful, I guess. Oh, and, and for you. Hang on. Okay, we're back to 21 out of 21. I think we're one province away from another Ataman unlocked, I think. Oh, and Oleg Akulov. I'd forgotten about him, but I guess we're attacking from this angle too. He wants peace, I'm not giving it to him, even though he's willing to give me 10k. Uh, and that's fine, I can reach this settlement in a turn anyway, I think. Oh, and he's going to attack us. Alright, so his faction is wiped. And, uh, oh, and they're deciding to attack as well. Cool. Okay, good. Good stuff. Uh, right, you can start heading to Baroque Water. You can take Fort Bergres. It isn't actually a fort in this map, which is a bit of a pity. Uh, we'll lose a couple of Kalsars, but who cares. It is Kislevs now. You can upgrade Marienburg, give it that lovely Marienburg port, which is going to give us, uh, oh wow, faction-wide, 5% uh, tradable resources. I dread to think what that's going to do for our trade income. Well, it's going to be pretty significant. It's not that huge a bonus, but we have most of the map now, so we have a lot of trade goods, and I can't level him up. Now, let's see here. Uh, we have someone that has something, well, a couple of people at least. Uh, there's one. Uh, investor, lovely. More income. Sounds great. Let's have another look. Okay, there were three people with questions. Uh, there's another. Traditionalist or province first. I don't know, traditionalist plus two growth doesn't do anything. Uh, and um, a boon for all. Sounds lovely. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, let's level that up. And now... Uh, okay, you can go attack that. Which may actually be a tough fight. This might be a tough one. Um, well, yeah, but we can still get it with an auto-resolve, and this army has now done everything it can possibly do. Um, I don't think it can reach another settlement before any of its allies do, um, so I guess he lives here now. This is just where he lives. Okay, something like that. Now, let's level up this Peter. Um... Logistician sounds lovely, but I think we can probably just let him do his own thing at this point. Spartak. Same with you. Oh, yep. Already put him on auto. Now, technology. Ice rights. Is that nice? Should we do that? Um, global recruitment capacity plus two. Sounds useful. And we can indeed place another Ataman. That is crazy. Uh, 1,300 over there, there's 1,200, 23, I think, is, uh, is the highest, so let's put you over there, good. Lovely stuff, and building income, 
Saka or Raider? Saka, I never I never raid. Uh foot soldiers sounds good. Okay. Boris Ursus can head down here. He'll be there in a couple of turns. He doesn't suffer attrition from the Chaos Waste, so we don't have to worry about moving him slowly, which is such a boon for him. It really is amazing. Um, especially with the sort of campaign we're playing, where we're running in like this. You know what? Garrison, even though we don't need it. And let's see. Uh, I don't think I've ever gone to Grunzint in this campaign, ever. Yeah, I don't think I've ever fought my way up there. It's immense, my power. Ah, some corruption over here. Quite a lot of corn corruption we need to deal with. Alright, now where are you going to go, huh? Can you reach that guy? You can. Okay, kill kill this army. We'll see if we can't take Snake Gate. It'd be good to take Nan Gao, actually. Because I would like to sort of kick Chaos out of Cathay. So that way, when... Um, you know, that way our, our boy can just focus on his civil war and not have to focus on Cathay falling more broadly. It looks like these guys might be fighting off Azazel, or Azazel might be coming for us because you know what these AI are like when it comes to us. Although, to be fair, they should probably focus on us given the fact that we have um, basically taken over the world. Alright, you've got everything I want, so I'll just put you on auto level as well. Okay, Liliania. Cannot reach that this turn. Oh, okay then. Take me a second. Alright, let's head that way. Hopefully Infernius will fall easily. Pretty victory, high casualties. That is quite high casualties. Uh, I can do it anyway. We're not losing anything we can't replace easily. So, let's get a garrison built on there. And I'm also going to get the uh, portal stopping building. Okay, be more fervent, I guess. And also, um, be reassuring with your presence. Uh, Svetkova. I guess Earthing, but, oh, she's on auto anyway. I was going to say, she may as well be on auto. She is on auto. So let's get, uh, actually let's not get more Cossars, let's get uh, a bunch. I don't know why the, yeah I don't know why it suddenly shibby to the side, but yeah let's just get a bunch of Strelzy. I think that'd be great. I'm enjoying just using Strelzy as my like basic troop type at this point. Oh I can't quite reach that. Uh, there is big corruption here so I guess I'm going to move slow. That's fine by me. The most skilled oh well, global's full. That's fine. Lord of all. Uh, now what? Person's favoured, I guess. Just in case we do get him some bears. Uh, Casimir is going to have to chill for a second. Let's move him in and out so um, we can move this along. Uh, oh, so actually. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh no, it'll be under factions destroyed. The Fecundites and Deceptic Claw will be wiped out. We wiped out all of Nurgle's representatives in a single turn. That's kind of nice. I like it. So, there's a lot of stuff to grab here. So I suppose that's what we're doing now. Just doing a bit of a land grab, right? So you go grab that. You're right to rule. You grab Laurelorn Forest. It's not very happy, so you probably have to live there with all the witches. That's probably probably good for them. I'm sure they'll like it. Okay, Garrison Lord not moved. That is true. He has not. Uh, and oh, look at this. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, you can't reach them. Can you? Okay, you can. Uh, close victory. Medium casualties. That's fine by me. Alright, go to replenishment. And then take this. Good. Nice. Wow. Okay, a lot of stuff to build. Uh, we already have the the thingamajig stopping building. So that's good. So we'll go with farms. And we'll go with the ice court. 
Don't really need that building. I'm going to build it anyway. We're rolling in money. Good. I am the storm. You sure are. Uh, root marcher and firing drills. It aids my she got a lot of experience master. there. Uh, okay, you're on auto. And I assume the rest are too. Are the patriarchs? Yes, even though they didn't get that stuff yet either. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? I don't have to be precious about them. I'll leave them on auto. Uh, now for you, though, Castelton. <laughs> if I come down here, try and deal with the Forbidden Citadel. Village is still running around like a swine. Um, you have a problem, and I just filled up my global recruitment capacity. Guess run into friendly territory at least, right? We'll fill you up on... Um... Oh, is it in foreign territory? Where's the border? Oh, it's it's there. That's the border. Okay, cool. That's lovely to see. Uh, who did I fill up with Strelzy recruitment? I can't remember now. Uh, it was him, right? Sure was. Okay, I decided I don't need that many. Because I need them over here. Okay, let's get rid of one more. And I'll just fill them up with uh, Cossars, that's fine. So more Strelzy for you. Good. So that's not terrible. It'll it'll do. Luckily we didn't lose more stuff to attrition, which is good. Uh, let's build that, build that, build that. So we really want to come over here and deal with village, don't we? So let's just move over here a bit. We will be on full strength again next turn. Salina Catherine still has absolutely nothing to do. And Baradin Buyaru can get that, I guess. Do you want to just be on auto so you don't bother me anymore? You'll grab what you need anyway. Keeper. Uh, you can get magical reserves and blizzard. Such power. Good. Such uh, Le Shapka has something going on as well. Let's get death frost, I guess. A wondrous tool. Cool. Not that we really need it. She's not going to catch up to anyone who's fighting anybody anyway. Everything's going to fall before she gets to the front line. It is crazy when you're like, oh, okay, half of my army is obsolete now. Because the rest of our army are conquering too quickly and there aren't enough enemies to go around anymore. That's an interesting point, actually. How many um, armies do we have? We have 18 armies. All right, we have 18 armies. And, I mean, I guess you could argue there's a few different places that they could fight in over here. Uh, so let's see what's on our border. So one, two, three. Uh, four. Five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, you know, 16, 17. So yeah, I guess there's about like, you know, I guess 18, 19, 20, like, yeah, I guess there's like 20 odd places that sort of border us that we want to conquer. Um, so we almost have an army per neighboring thing that we want to deal with, which is sort of crazy. Sort of crazy. And I know, our armies aren't evenly distributed, so... Or, I guess, proportionally distributed. So it doesn't make any difference anyway. But I'm just curious to see if we have, like, genuinely more armies than we have, um... You know, bordering... Um... Settlements. And it, it does seem like we have... I mean, certainly if you discount ruins, we have more armies than there are bordering... Um... Enemy settlements. Which is sort of insane. That is pretty, pretty mad. Another commandment available. All right, money then, I guess. Commandment available. Oh, hang on. That's two commandments available. Does that mean... Oh, it's on 22. Okay, I must have already done that. It's been a very long turn. But we've taken over, like, six settlements in a turn, so... All right, so Village has taken the Tower of Crack, which is a shame. Theodoric Gauser wants trade. Sounds good to me. He definitely wants to be on good terms with us, because he would not last long. Okay, we've got quite a distance to travel there. 
and he could go off down here somewhere. So actually, Zarina might be worth you recruiting something. So let's get uh, some ice guards with glaives and a couple more swords. And then we'll use global as well to get even more of them. Nice. Nice full army. I guess we don't really need the winged lances, do we? I definitely like the uh, snow leopard, leopard bodyguard, though. So that's a pretty fun army. That'll do. And how long will that take to recruit? Two turns. Yeah, two turns. Cool. I'll take it. Now let's fully upgrade those buildings in Prague. Uh, Kislev's buildings are almost all fully upgraded. Eringrad, just the garrison. Okay, all the unique buildings seem to be fully uh, fully upgraded, which is nice. All right, better swords, sure. Okay, Peter. Other, other Peter. Uh, okay. Yeah, more, more buildings. Uh, this Peter doesn't need to do a thing. Uh, okay, you are in range of that. I don't know where that army went. I think it might have gone up here to, to Spartak. I think. Possibly. And we do have a little bit of global capacity left, so I will use some of that. Uh, oh! Northern Provinces is trying to actually compete in that race again. Amazing that they entered literally on the last turn they could have. Like, the portals have closed now. There's no portals open now. It's impressive. That is impressive. Really just trying their best to, to kick us while we're down. Because, you know, we're clearly very down right now. <laughs> it's a miracle that we're hanging on. Uh, okay. Boris, you can take the capital. So do. God, this is insane. We are just walking through the whole nation now. Well, the whole nation, the whole map. It is very much just sort of um, painting the map at this point. There's really no point of us carrying on this. We, like, we won ages ago. But we've come this far, I do just want to say, oh yeah, we've, we've, we've actually painted the map once. And I know allies don't count. I'm not going to turn to my allies. Alright, let's grab the Fortress of Eyes, just because we're in the area. Okay, good. Uh, okay, faction got destroyed, apparently. Good for you. Uh, oh my god, that is another province occupied. Uh, looks like you guys are doing quite well now, actually. I think it's because Miao Ying has gone to hell to try and kill God. Which is definitely helping us out. Because her absence is going to make us and, uh, you know, well, really just our allies. It wasn't going to slow us down, was it? Let's be honest. None of this ever slows us down. All right, take Shang Wu. Valiant defeat, really. Uh, I guess we'll sit here for a bit. There is an army nearby who could come and attack us too. Which is a little scary. So why is this? I guess they do have a lot of, like, Celestial Dragon Guard and things. So it's not actually a terrible army over here. I may need to retreat. Or I guess I could just get another army? Alright, Volantin. Actually, we've got a bunch of ice witches, don't we? So, cheaper little groms. And cheaper little groms. Okay, sure. Oh, I don't know. Get Svetlana. Uh, so I can't really use global a whole lot, but that's fine. I'll put a little grom in there. And some extra bits. Uh, in fact, let's just go with, like, an absurd amount of little groms. It'll take four turns, that's fine. Lord not moved. Oleg Kapravlov. Um... I mean, at this point, he may as well start heading back this way, huh? Advance for Again. Don't know where that the jerk's bear. gone. Come Could be anywhere. Let's, uh... Ah, there he is. Oh, he's... Yeah, he's got nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna keep moving towards him. Uh, you guys... You guys seem ready to go... Oh. Okay, you can move to there without needing to go into that stance. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. That's the border. It's hard to see sometimes. Uh, Doomkeep. 
Yeah, let's put up the garrison. I do actually want that to look after itself, ideally. And, oh, Sir the Eck is heading for Neuland. Interesting. We'll come back for that. We take Broke Water this turn as well. So, uh, we have to wait, because amazingly, this army doesn't have Siege Attacker. I cannot believe bears don't have Siege Attacker. I mean, they're monstrous cavalry, right? Anything monstrous should have Siege Attacker, I feel. You know, trolls, bears, whatever. Uh, level of a bed, Chuck. I can't level you up. Need to stop trying. Alright, you had to... You had to Roche, actually. Oh, is he trying to take it? Well, you can't. It's mine. Okay, you can't take magical elven places. No, no use to you. Spite, I guess. How should I give this to Theodric Gauser? I mean, Kazador's taken a bunch of territory over here, which is a bit mean of him. Not very nice to the humans, but the humans haven't really done a great job of keeping the world in order, have they? No, uh, not really. And we have another one. Look at that. Uh, 1100, 1600 down there. Um, we still don't have Sylvania. Anything? 1900. Oh, 21. Oh, three there. Okay, we got someone in there then. Like 3000? Yeah, we're fine. Uh, so there is a 2000 there. 2200 is pretty good. Alright, let's put one in the. Oh, 2100. Yeah, let's go for the 2200 one. We don't have any uh, actual bonuses to um, income right now, but we may at some point. Oh, yes, build build some siege stuff. Might as well. Unassigned skill points for Ivan Dmitriev. Let's get... Uh, oh, good. We can get a Thunderous Auditor. And then we can put it on auto. Done. Uh, okay, so hang on. Uh, that can finally move. So you start heading over there. Thanks. It looks like Gilbert is headed for an army there. And we'll go for Dragon's Death, I suppose. We will have to move a bit slower. Though. Actually, I'll go for the Plains of Zambajin, because if I take that over, I'll be closer and I can replenish better from that settlement. So I'm going to do that. Going to need to take that territory anyway, right? Uh, okay. Good. What's next? No idea. Uh, can't really afford much, so I'll just... Oh, I'll do more commandments, I guess. Jesus. <laughs> more commandments. My god. Okay, next turn. And they're attacking us, and we can defeat them. With an auto resolve, so we win. Take that over. Hopefully that army won't come and attack us. Or did that army come and attack us? Is that what triggered that? I didn't really pay attention. I just thought we'd win and I hit go. He wants peace, that's obviously not gonna happen. Uh Sir the Eck is taking territory, which is very cheeky of him. Very cheeky. Okay, well, cool. Uh, so we're going to end it here at the start of the turn. We're making big progress. We should be able to take Snake Gate uh, pretty shortly. Because I do want to take Nangao. I do really want to take Nangao from Azazel. Uh, we are moving up with a bunch of troops in a bunch of directions. We're doing great. I mean, we're really doing fantastic. Global is currently full because it's full of um, little Groms and... Um, what's the other one? Frost ladies. Ice guard, that's the one. Not frost ladies. That was close. <laughs> In a way. Uh, anyway, I think we did well. I think we've done well this uh, this episode. We have conquered a ludicrous amount of the map. And yeah, nice to see these dwarves doing quite well too. So two settlements left. Two settlements left for them. And then one settlement for them. So three more settlements. I mean, we're going to take way more than three before the end of this, but in three settlements' time, we've won the campaign, essentially. If we are picky. It's probably going to be more like 20 settlements, just because we have so many armies doing other things in other places. But that's pretty huge. That is pretty huge. We've almost done the domination victory, which is pretty cool. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Ursung shall be saved.